The next grouping of problems deals with lines and everything you know about lines. Right, so let's just review some formulas. You need to know about the slope. Remember, it's the rise over the run. You need to know what slope intercept form is, y equals mx plus b. And point slope formula, hopefully you've been, in, been introduced to. Your teacher may have taught it a little bit differently than that. So let's look at number 23. Find the equation of the line that passes through these two points. Write the slope in intercept form as possible. So my answer is going to be in that format. But I have two points. So the first thing I have to do is find the slope. So I'm going to subtract the y values and subtract the x values. So that's going to become plus negative 5 plus 3 is a negative 2. So that's my slope. Now I choose to use the point slope formula and you can pick either point, doesn't matter. I'm going to use that first one. So I'm going to say y minus 2 equals my slope times x minus a minus 3. And now I have to do some algebra manipulation to get it into the right form. You could distribute, that would be fine. What I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to multiply this side by 2 and this side by 2. So I get 2y minus 4. The 2's cancel, and I have now just negative 7 to distribute. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So if I add 4, I'm going to get negative 17. And then if I divide by 2, I get negative 7 halves x minus 17 over 2. Now I realize that this is probably strange and you're going, I've never seen that. That's okay. Your teacher may have only used that formula. However you got there, I promise that's the correct answer. So here I want to sketch the graph of this line. And I should know it's a line because I have an x and a y to the first power. You could do it a few different ways. You could find the intercepts. So this is one method, meaning you let x equal to 0 and find out y, then you let y equal 0 and find out x. So that's method 1. Okay, so that's method 1. You do not need to know all of these methods. So 3 times 0 minus 5y equals 15, y equals negative 3, and then you could also let uh, y equal to 0. So I have 3x minus 5 times 0 equals 15, so x is 5. So I could plot those points, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and get that line. And I'm done. Another method is just to pick two points and make a table of values. Make it x and a y and plug anything you want. I'm not going to do that method. The third method is to solve for y. All right, so I could do that. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide by negative 5. And I could say, well, hey, the slope is 3 fifths and my y-intercept is negative 3. So could I graph it that way? Well, negative 3, same thing. Slope is rise over run. And I get the same line. So lots of different methods, but what we're grading is the graph of that line. Number 25, what's the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this one? Well, I need to know that slopes are negative reciprocals. So I have to find the slope of this line. Well, I can't do it with two points. Well, I guess I could, but that's kind of hard. But the easier way to do is to do solve for y. So if I subtract x and divide by 3, remember that's a 1. And now it's in y equals mx plus b form. That's the slope. Okay, so the slope of the given line was negative one third. If I want something perpendicular, I want the opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to make it positive 3 or 3 over 1. That's what we're looking for. 26. Write the equation of the line now that's parallel to this line that passes through this point. 
Well, you have to know that y equals to 3 is a horizontal line. And so something parallel to it is another horizontal line. So I know it's going to be y equals to, and what is y equal to? 6. Yes, it's that easy. What if the problem said x equals to 3? had everything else, but that said x equals to 3. Well, you would need to know that x equals to 3 is a vertical line, and so something parallel to it would be another vertical line, and what does x equal to? 4. So simple, not really any work to show, you just have to know these things.